Oh, an Iraq war veteran from Kern County is living a new life after being injured thanks to a groundbreaking back surgery. And here to talk about it and share his story is Army veteran Jim Schneider. And to talk more about his surgery is Dr. K. Rod Payman. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> thanks for having us. I want to thank you, Jim, for your service. Oh. Just to start off, because right. I know a lot of people out there, we want to thank you. Well, thank you. Well, so I want to get to your story. So you um, are an Army veteran. Right. I signed up for the infantry in the year 2000, right out of high school. It just, mom said, get a job or move out or go to school. And I said, okay, I'll join the Army. It's a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> so you went to Iraq, uh, Iraq for your first tour, right? Right. Uh, I signed up in 2000, and then we, uh, right after 9-11, uh, went in for the main push in Iraq. Mm -hmm. So um, from what I understand, you hurt your back? On my second tour overseas, I did. March 2005, or 2006 rather, I, I ran over an IED with my home V, lifted the front end of it up, slammed it back to the earth, and then after that, it's just a blur. Oh my gosh, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, well, I mean. Right? Well, I mean, the home V really, it was a, it was a little bomb. Mm -hmm. so. But still, <laughs> oh, you act like it was nothing, but no, you're lucky to be alive. I've seen bigger and I've seen worse. Yeah. So. So after that, what happened? You, you dealt with a lot of back pain, right? I mean, in the infantry, you carry a lot of weight anyhow. And, you know, for what I do, and what I did in the Army, you know, for a living and everything, I carried a lot of weight. It was my body weight plus. Mm -hmm. You know, and at times it was either 100 pounds or more uh, that I was carrying on top of whatever I was wearing. So, uh, you know, it's just nature of the job, really. And, I mean, I'm not the only one that complains of back pain. I had other people in the mm -hmm. unit, you know, bad backs and everything like that. It's just because of all the weight, it's the nature of the job. Well, so then you went and saw Dr. Payman because uh, there were some things with the VA. They wouldn't approve some medical procedures, right? Well, it was just the VA pain management, mm -hmm. pain management, forcing pills down my throat. And uh, I tried everything else that the VA offered me, um, physical therapy, uh, and, and other things too. I, I can't remember it all right now off the top of my head. It was just so much. And then I finally got fed up and I was referred to him by a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I went down and talked to him, said, hey, this is what's going on. He says, here, here's what I recommend. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I wasn't real sure about surgery at, the, uh, for, at that time. So I took a year off. <laughs> and then I came back and talked to him. I'm tired of it. Let's let's get it done. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Payman, so what? So you saw Jim, and what what did you do? What exactly happened? You know, Jim's story is uh, very classic. Uh, there's three million cases of back pain yearly, mm -hmm. and it's a very common problem, second only to the common cold. Jim's case is unique because he's had a lot of uh, impact throughout his life. He's carried all the weight that he just described. Plus, he had a very significant injury, and so. His disc was a lot more damaged than most. Mm -hmm. So when he came to me, it was severe back pain, constant, unrelenting. As he said, he tried a lot of pain management. He went through therapy, he had injections. So he was kind of at the end of the road with his problem. So we uh, looked at x-rays, we looked at MRIs. We really kind of tried to delve into the actual cause of the problem. And here's some automation that you provided us. Sure, so, stuff, so what we're seeing is a model of the spine from head all the way down to the lower back. The red there highlights the lower back or the lumbar spine. Mm -hmm. In Jim's specific case, uh, the disc between the fourth and fifth bone of his lumbar spine was the one that was significantly damaged and injured. We have five discs and five bones in our lower back or lumbar spine. For his specific case, L4, L5. And we saw it on the MRI that it was significantly injured. A disc is like a shock absorber. Mm -hmm. It's like a cushion or trampoline. We use all these analogies. Um, and when that shock absorber is not tall, it lose, loses its cushion, it loses its jelly-filled donut capability. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow us to absorb the shock of our day-to-day -day activities. And that's why he had this constant daily pain. Mm -hmm. And it's been a year. Right. It's yeah, it's been, been a year. February 5th last year was when I had the surgery. and. I tried to get him to get me home for the uh, Super Bowl. It wasn't going to happen. Um, <laughs> I was still in the hospital. But, uh, I'm no, sorry, did I mean, you watch it on TV in the hospital? No, I fell asleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was really you a good didn't time. You didn't miss much. No. Yeah, your team didn't win. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, since then, it's been, it's been night and day difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, five days really of just, uh, you know, having a hard time moving around. Finally, you know, on the fifth day, I was walking around the block like it was nothing. Yeah. And then... You know, just a little tenderness here and there for the first few months. And then after that, it was just, it was my world just turned upside down. You know, I'm able to play with my kids. 
I'm able to do my job a little bit more effective now. You know, it's just everything is just so much easier and so much better. And doctor, for people out there who have back pain or dealing with this, uh, what would you like to say to them? I think it's important to know that there are options. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's really the most important point. If you're suffering from pain, you've given it several months, several years, and it's constantly affecting your daily living, seek out a board certified spine surgeon. Uh, research that doctor online. Make sure you're going to a guy or a woman that knows exactly what they're doing, is experienced with mm -hmm. these types of procedures. Look up testimonials, see what other patients have had experience-wise, and know, again, that there's hope, there's options, okay. and uh, seek that out. All right, well, great. Thank you so much, Dr. Payman and Jim. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back.